Hi guys, this is Temi with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you part 4 in my series tag, How Moving to Canada Has Changed My Lifestyle. And I'm going to be talking about hobbies. I know that might seem like a very unusual thing to be talking about. When you're in a new environment, you find out that you have to adjust to a different lifestyle and change your way of doing certain things. So when I was living in Lagos, I remember that my week was taken off by work. I was out of the house very early in the morning. I was laid back in the uh, evening. I didn't have time to do anything much else afterwards. It was straight to bed. And then on weekends, I'd usually just stay home and rest. And when I was not at home resting, I, you know, there's always one party to attend on Saturdays and sometimes even Sundays. In fact, your weekend starts from Friday evening because right from work, there's one event, there's a dinner or there's an after office drinks that someone is doing somewhere, you know. So your weekend, my weekend was more or less filled with um, activities from one party to the other, from one person's house to the other, you know, going about saying hello to friends and family members that you hadn't had time to see during the week or in a while. And that's pretty much what my hobbies were, you know, going out and socializing when I was back in Lagos. But since I moved to Lethbridge, things have really shifted a, a lot because here there's, they're not that much big gatherings like I'm used to. So in order to occupy, and because I have more time on my hands now, even during the week, I definitely have to find things to do to, to keep myself busy, occupied, to task my mind and things like that. So, so one of the things I've gotten into lately is um, puzzles. I've always liked puzzles right from when I was a young child, but I never really had that too much time, you know, in my early adult life. But now I do. I have that much more time on my hands. Now I've always loved puzzles since I was a young girl. So it gladdens my heart to be able to go back and rediscover my love for puzzles. And since I have much more time on my hands now, I can do a lot more puzzles than I used to way back when. So I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up a whole stack of puzzles this is just like half of the puzzles i have i have another um basket and these organization baskets are from the dollar tree as well so i have another basket full of puzzles i just pulled this one out to show you guys these are different so this is a 480 box puzzle it's actually two in one so you get those two 480 pieces each I've, i think i've done that one already and then this one is a 500 piece puzzle i love that picture that picture just look at that picture that picture is so pretty there you go so yeah i find out that times you know in the evenings when i'm back home and i don't feel like watching tv i don't feel like watching a movie or going through the internet i pick up my puzzles it takes me a long time trust me like i remember the first time i did this after a long while i was like is this how long it used to take? I really couldn't remember, but it was really interesting. It tasks my mind. It uh, helps me kill time and keeps me busy. So I really, really enjoy doing that. And another thing that is very similar to that, that I've picked up recently, this is not really new. I mean, everybody, when you were younger, we all played with building blocks of one form or the other. But I was never really into building specific things. And that is what I've taken up now with my Lego hobby. So, this is a car. It's a three-in-one car. I haven't actually built this one. But I have bought other, um, other blocks from Lego. I just ordered them off the Lego website and they deliver... To my doorstep i think I've, I've done i've ordered some disney characters I, I have that set up in different part of parts of my house and some other things as well once i'm done with this i'm looking into ordering buildings like going into um buildings like the white house the empire state building the eiffel tower things like that and i really enjoy it especially when i see the outcome and looking for where to place it in my house as a piece of decor like i really really enjoy that and that's another hobby i've taken up since i got here decorating i think i found something that i'm really really good at i never really well i kind of always knew that i was good at that but i'm now getting more and more into it i love decorating i love organizing and my house is kind of like my um 
what's it called my canvas so i do a lot of decorating in my house i change up my decoration a lot according to the seasons according to how i feel sometimes in my living room i can decide that i want all yellow decor and i change up pieces here and there um few months down the line i change my mind i feel and decide that i want more greens in this space and then i find ways to incorporate all that i'm constantly looking at pictures and paintings and thinking of where to hang them up in my house and things like that so i really enjoy decorating and it's very easy for me to um, keep up with that hobby here because you have stores that you can find things piece really nice pieces at affordable prices that you can use in your home or whatever space that it is that you want to decorate or organize stores like the dollar tree dollarama these are my two favorites <laughs> then you have li liquidation stores like the one close to me is the bianca most liquidation i absolutely also love that store there's no time i go into liquidation store and i don't come out with something <laughs> so you know you have places like that that you can easily find things pieces that would spice up your home or your office or wherever it is that you want to decorate or organize and it's it's for me it's kind of like a treasure hunt and that's one hobby that i know i'm not going to be giving up anytime soon speaking of decorating another hobby that i've picked up is diys so do-it-yourself project now mostly this is also tied into my love for decorating so i i try to make diy of the core pieces that i can use in my house and an example is this flower box that i have here and this light is not let me adjust the light because it's not bringing there we go so i hope you guys can see it better now so i made this out of products that i got at the dollar store i got these roses from dollarama i got i think four bunches there were about five roses in a bunch and i used up most of it the rest of it is what you have over there and then um the box is a gift box that I also got from Dollarama as well. You guys see that? It's a very, very pretty box. I love it. This is the top that I just put at the bottom there. That's what it looks like. Sorry. It's a pineapple. So I got, yeah, that's much better. Yep. Yeah, so I just, and then inside is some, or some foam boards. I got the box for two dollars at Dollarama, and then I got um, the flower foam, which holds the roses inside the box. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and I use it as a piece of decor on my um, chest of drawers. And you know, I just feel like that's so so pretty. Things like this with fresh flowers, and even the ones with um, fake flowers as well that are high end cost a lot of money you can pay anything from thirty dollars to a hundred dollars for a box of fake roses in arrangements like this so and i made this for just what four five six seven eight less than ten dollars so yeah so i've diy'd a lot of other things i've done uh tie-dye shirts i've done different flower arrangements around my house i've done paintings so this is how my lifestyle has changed since I moved from Lagos to Lesbridge in terms of hobbies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. If you want to see parts 1 to 3 in this series, I'm going to leave it linked up here and in the description box below so that you can go check out those videos. Thank you for joining me guys. I'll see you